Hi, Rama. It's week 47, day three of our Bible narrative reading plan. Today, we are in Acts chapter 11, starting in verse 19 down to the end of the chapter. Now, think back on what we've seen uh, really through the history of Israel as a nation and certainly in the Gospels and even the beginning of the church here so far in the book of Acts. The main city that has been emphasized has been Jerusalem. Even as Christ died, he died in Jerusalem. He was raised from the dead from Jerusalem. He ascended into heaven from Jerusalem. And the early Christians have stayed in Jerusalem until they were dispersed after the execution of Stephen. After Stephen was martyred, they were dispersed. Whether they wanted to leave or not, the persecution grew so intense, God used this to spread them throughout the nations as they were commanded to do all the way back in Acts chapter 1. They're now actually spreading. But the focus, we keep hearing Jerusalem and these other cities are, are mentioned in passing, but now we see the gospel spreading and, and other cities besides Jerusalem be, begin to become hubs for Christianity. Antioch becomes one of those cities. It's one of the earliest uh, hubs of Christianity that we see outside of Jerusalem. You see, beginning in verse 19, it talks, it reminds you about the persecution and how that spread people out, and how at first the gospel was just being spread to the Jews, but now Gentiles have come to faith, and uh, uh, we are reminded of Barnabas. Barnabas is there, he sees Jews coming, I mean, he sees Gentiles coming to faith in Christ. And Barnabas is a leader. He's full of the Spirit, and the people are looking to him for instruction and guidance. And Barnabas uh, blesses the church there, but then he goes and gets Saul from Tarsus, and they come back, and for a whole year, they met with the church and taught a great many people. And then ver the end of verse 26 says something remarkable. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. Now, this is almost certainly a derisive title. It was not meant to be a compliment. It was meant to, to make fun of these people who are living so differently that they must be followers of this man, Jesus Christ. That's important because what was meant to be a badge of dishonor became a badge of honor, that these people were living so distinctly, not strangely or weirdly in a negative sense, but they were following after, G after Jesus, and they were living so distinctively that the people noticed, and what the people called bad, uh, God intended all of that for good. They were The disciples were following after Jesus as they should have been, and it was there that they were first called Christians. And then people come, prophets come from Jerusalem to Antioch, and uh, you see that mentioned there. But don't miss at the end of verse 30 the mention of elders, pastors, overseers. That word, uh, that we, we have multiple words in the New Testament, and we most often say pastor. Pastor, elder, overseer, bishop, uh, they're all the same office in the New Testament. So far, the church has been built on the work of the apostles. The apostles are still active and alive and ministering. But even in these early days, we see the institution of the office of pastor. And that's the way God has ordered and designed his church. So we learn a lot here, even from the early church at Antioch. Here's a summary of today's reading. For more information, go to tunemyheart.org.